Hi guys, welcome to Egg Guru channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, DC at the fault in a, a DC system. So before going to the video, so please watch the content of other videos. If you like the content, do subscribe the channel. So let's start the uh, DC at fault in a, a DC system. So here, so two lamps which are connected in series uh, can be easy to identify whether there is an at the fault in a, a DC system or not. So that we will discuss in detail in this video and also so we will see how to rectify the DC at the fault in a DC system. So first we will see so what is actually a DC system. So an ungrounded DC system is easy to control the supply of production systems, control panels, communication and other networking devices. So if any a part of this DC system is grounded, so then we will say a DC fault occurred in a, a DC system. So if you see, so generally a battery bank is used to an emergency or backup supply for an industry or in a power generating station. So battery bank is nothing but a, a combination of the a number of batteries. Depending upon the, the voltage required, the number of batteries is used. So generally the 220 volts or DC is used in many of the industries. So here, so these 220 volts or DC supply is connected to the connected to the two bus bars, nothing but so one is the positive bus bar, another one is the negative bus bar. The outgoing of, uh, of this bus bar is given to the the different equipment, like we mentioned. So for a production equipment. And for the control equipment, so production equipment like uh, if you consider a power generating station, a stator at the fault relay, and the rotor at the fault relay, and generator circuit breaker uh, tripping relay. So those relays will get uh, the uh, supply from this DC supply. And for controlling uh, devices, nothing but for a governor or for a excitation. So these. Uh, uh, Control equipment will get the supply from the uh, these 20 volts uh, DC supply and networking uh, nothing but telecommunication system also will get the supply from the uh, DC system. So if any part of this system uh, whether it may be a battery or it may be a bus bar or it may be an outgoing feeder so which is connected to the ground so then we will say the uh, uh, earth fault occurs in a DC system nothing but so this uh, positive bus bar may get grounded or uh, any earth fault relay so that can get grounded so like that any part of this uh, DC system is connected to the ground so then we will say DC at the fault occurs so but how to identify uh, so this uh, DC at the fault so that uh, we can identify by using uh, two lamps which are connected in series across the DC supply so here the 220 volts a DC system is present here so this 220 kV DC system is connected to the two bus bars one is the positive bus bar another one is the negative bus bar so here the positive bus bar voltage is plus 110 volts with respect to the ground the negative bus bar voltage is minus 110 volts with respect to grounded the midpoint of two lamps is connected to the ground the potential of the ground is 110 volts so if you see here the voltage across the lamp one is so here the voltage is 110 volts plus 110 volts and at this point it is 0 volts the voltage across lamp 1 is 110 volts similarly the voltage across the lamp 2 is also 110 volts so for a healthy DC system if there is no ground at any part of DC system so then the voltage across each lamp is same then two bulbs will equally brighter so that there will be no DC earth fault so like this the two bulbs which are connected across the DC bar bulbs uh, these uh, bus bars uh, they will equally brighter then there will be no earth fault so now consider if uh, any part of some part of the so these uh, 220 volts the DC system is grounded what happens so let us consider the positive 
bus bar at plus 10 volts plus 110 volts a negative bus bar at minus 110 volts the positive bus bar is grounded anywhere so here we can say the positive bus bar is grounded so then what happens the voltage will become 0 volts here see here the voltage is 0 volts then the voltage across lamp 1 is 0 volts then the lamp 1 will glow darker than the lamp 2 the voltage across lamp 2 is so here if you see the positive bus bar is grounded the voltage is 0 volts then the total voltage is shifted to negative bus bar then the voltage at negative bus bar is minus 220 volts then the lamp 2 will glow brighter than the lamp 1 so like this so if uh, there is a difference between the lamps brightness so then we can say at fault is occurred at the uh, DC system so but how to identify this DC system so here we can visually identify there is an at the fault or not similarly if you if we want an automatic tripping of uh, a DC system if there is an at the fault we can use an at the fault relay so here uh, you can see uh, when one terminal of uh, the DC system is grounded it is not creating any problem because the total voltage across the bus bars is remain same that is 220 volts. So if the positive bus bar is grounded so then the positive bus bar voltage is 0 volts the negative the total voltage is shifted to negative bus bar so then the voltage across the two bus bars is remain same that is 220 volts. So if there is a second uh, if there is a second earth, earth occurs so then it creates the short circuit so that will be a, a serious problem so to, pre to prevent the earth fault at the both terminals so we will use the DC earth fault relay so when one of the DC terminal is grounded it will detected by the DC earth fault locator and the DC earth fault in the DC terminal needs to attend immediately so because the first earth fault will not create any problem the second earth fault only will create the problem so that way we can see here so here the 220 volt so a dc system so these are the two bus bars so positive bus bar negative bus bar so when the positive bus bar is grounded so then there will be no problem because the minus 220 volts and this here the voltage is zero um, and the current will flow if there is a second at the fault so then only the continuity for the fault current will occur whatever the current so that will be fed here the total 220 volts DC supply is shorted here that we can see here with the two grounds that will get short circuited so that will cause a very a serious problem so that's why we have to attend we have to attend the so first dc at fault as early as possible so here we can see a dc at the fault uh, which is used to identify the dc at the fault so here in a dc at the fault two equal resistances are used so instead of two lamps in two lamps method what we will we will use is two lamps which are connected in series across the DC supply so here the two resistance two equal resistance are connected across the DC bus bar so the same principle uh, the th same principle applies here also so for example if the positive bus bar is grounded nothing but uh, this outgoing feeder is grounded then the potential at this point will becomes the zero volts here so this is a mistake so one terminal is taken at here one terminal is taken taken at here so here this is zero volt here the voltage is zero here the voltage is zero so here the voltage is minus 220 so then so there is a potential difference the voltage will flow like this through the ground so then so the current will flow like this so this current is detected by the so this relay if the current is exceed the preset value so then this at the fault relay 
will give the tripping signal to the this DC breaker which is connected here. This will trip the DC breaker that will isolate the 220 volts DC system from the outgoing feeders. So once again we will see. So if uh, the positive bus bar is grounded, the voltage of the positive bus bar is zero. The voltage of the negative bus bar will shifted to minus 220 volts. So here the voltage across the resistance one is minus 220 zero, and the voltage across so this uh, resistance is zero volts because the uh, current is always prefers a low resistance path. The current will flow like this. At this junction, the current will diverted to the ground because here the resistance offers the resistance of the resistance path for the current the current will flow through the ground here whatever the current flow through the ground it is sensed by the uh, earth fault relay if this is this current is greater than the preset value then this earth fault relay will uh, trip the uh, dc breaker here uh, like that that will protect the dc system from the outgoing feeders so this is the operation of the DC earth fault relay. So now we will see how to rectify the DC earth fault. The rectification of DC earth fault is nothing but to identify where it is grounded and isolate the grounding of the that grounding portion. So here the 220 volt DC system. Nothing but it might be a battery bank. So that is connected to a bus bar through and MCCB, DC MCCB. So this one is the DC bus bar, positive bus bar, negative bus bar. So this bus bar having the outgoing feeders, which is going to the production, and that is having the another outgoing feeder, which is going to the control equipment, and another outgoing feeder which is going to the networking equipment like that we will have the n number of feeders so where we want DC supply so that DC supply can be extended from the DC bus bar for example so if uh, any part of the networking system nothing but the communication system is grounded nothing but at this point it is grounded so whenever we will turn off this grounded in a normal condition this MCCB in closed position so then this ground will reflect here the positive bus bar is grounded the negative bus bar voltage is shown 220 volts with respect to grounded so what we will do is we will turn off the so this MCB the MCB is open nothing but the ground is isolated so then uh, we can have the plus 110 volts minus 110 volts with respect to ground because we have isolated the this portion so likewise we will turn off all these MCBs so when uh, one particular MCB is turned off if the voltages are normal so then that portion is having the grounded so then we will search which part of the uh, networking system is grounded so that ground is removed so like that so we will see another case we will see another case so if the uh, DC bus bar is grounded nothing but DC bus bar is supported by the insulators if any part of the insulator is uh, broken so then that DC bus bar is grounded then this positive bus bar is voltage is minus nothing but uh, uh, 0 volts so this negative bus bar voltage is minus 220 volts so what we will do is uh, like normal check pump we will turn off these all MCBs even the voltage is uh, minus 220 and uh, 0 volts we will uh, turn off this MCB and we will check the voltage so here the voltage is plus 110 volts minus 110 volts minus 110 volts nothing but so this portion of the system is not having ground similarly so these MCBs are turned off so this portion is also not having ground the bus bar portion is grounded now we will look 
uh, which insulator is go got damaged in a positive bus bar and we will replace that insulator with a healthy insulator so like that uh, we can uh, rectify the dc at the fault in a dc system so like this so by sectionalizing uh, we can do identify the uh, dc at the fault in a dc system and we can rectify the uh, dc at the fault in a uh, dc system so this is all about uh, dc at the fault in a dc system so thanks for watching